What's up, everybody? It's me, Crosspatch. Welcome back to my Madden 21 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. The Kansas City Chiefs are in town. It is the last game of the NFL season. We are 15-0. We've got the number one seed wrapped up in the AFC. Chiefs are 11-4. They have their division secured. So we're basically going to have a battle of a couple of teams looking to avoid injury today. Uh, of course, the CPU doesn't know that. They're going to be playing like it's a Super Bowl. And we don't want to lose to the Chiefs. So I'm kind of hoping we get a nice lead at halftime on these guys. And I'm going to pull our starting quarterback at the half so he doesn't get hurt. But we'll see what happens as uh, Patrick Mahomes jogs onto the field and had another great season. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well. So 15 and 0. Bottom line. May not be uh, shattering, but it didn't need to be. We've got that number one seed wrapped up. Again, I'm going back to the six minute quarters today. All Madden six minute quarters, pretty much everything on default. And that's just because of uh the way the scoring has been and the way the uh finding Sterling Shepherd for oh, geez. catch. Come on, Edmonds, run him down. The way the scoring has been, the way the stats have been, are pretty out of control. So uh, kind of a little bit of an experiment for the end of this season and through the playoffs. So we'll see how it goes. And it was a field flipper. Edwards Hilaire goes nowhere. One yard gain. So the Chiefs down to the 10 yard line. Uh, just in the time it took me to do my intro there. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and find Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. Ah. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you. I was following the uh, receiver, and I ran right by him. They can get a first here without a touchdown. There we go. Good job, Edmonds. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And Mahomes catches him. By the shoelaces. Tomlin's got to be happy about that. And here comes our starting quarterback. Dakota Cavanaugh. You can see his numbers on the season, what I'm talking about. He's going to throw for over 70 touchdowns this season. A little bit crazy. So, you know, we'll shorten up the quarters and see if we can get... Like, nothing's realistic in this game. Um, we just do the best we can, have some fun, play a little, uh, video game football, what the heck, what difference does it make? And there's Smith-Schuster, first play from scrimmage, kind of feel like we did that last game. Still laying on the ground. Hopefully in Madden 22, he will get a new touchdown celebration. Because for five seasons, he has been laying on the ground over and over again in this franchise. So we're on the board. Got to jump on these Chiefs. Uh, capitalize on the turnover. That's important. And uh, see if we can do it again. We'll stay with a 3-4 package here. Oh boy. That uh, 82 is the guy that torched us last time. Bringing some pressure out of a nickel. Yeah. Running the ball. Going nowhere again. Third and one. Kavanaugh is uh, demonstrating some uh, pass rush techniques because quarterbacks are always the, the most effective pass rushers. And uh, they're coming out in uh, three tight ends. I don't know that I'm in the best defense. I don't think I'm in the defense I want to be in here. We stop them nonetheless. What's the flag? 
And we are probably going to decline that. Let's see. Yeah, we are going to decline that. Yeah, it came out in a nickel there. That wasn't smart. I mean, it's, a, it's kind of a heavier nickel formation, but still. All right. Let's see if we can get J.J. Lowry open here. Yeah. Oh, we might have a shot here. There he is. That's what we do. J.J. Lowry, rookie wide receiver, had a uh, superstar breakout scenario earlier in the season. 95 speed. Um, we're going to probably only have one more season of this franchise before Madden 22 comes out. Uh, but he's one of those players I would have liked to see how he developed over three, four, five years. Uh, I think he's going to be a really good receiver. We've already got... Um, he, he would be... Once he gets his... Because uh, he doesn't have a superstar yet. He's not going to have that until, uh, I guess, the end of the season. Um... Even though we made the uh, criteria for it, he uh, still is showing as an unknown attribute. So once he has that next season, we're going to have uh, four superstar wide receivers, um, three of them superstar X Factor. And a superstar X Factor tight end and a superstar X Factor halfback. And a superstar X Factor quarterback. So that's all kind of just team management. This Patrick wraps up Kelsey for a gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. To throw again on second down. Oh, he's wide open. Hayward is injured. We uh, threw a little money at him to try to keep him around. I feel like he's probably going to retire after this season. But I would like uh, Hayward to retire as Steeler. There's Derek Lindsay taking down Mahomes. Last year's Super Bowl MVP. Second year in the league. And that's the end of the first quarter. It's gone pretty well for us here. Uh, especially thinking I want to get that... Uh, some of our starters out of here at halftime, especially our quarterback. We'll bring some more pressure here out of this uh, four-man front. Good play by Fitzpatrick. And what have we got here? A third and 11. We will let uh, Hayward rest there, and we will go with the three, uh, cover three out of our nickel. We're all out of whack. Everybody get lined up right here, please. And he's going to run for it. And I don't think he got it. So that's going to be a 60-yard field goal. Let's see what they do here. They are going to punt. So I think we've only run two offensive plays at this point. Is that right? So we're going to try to get a running game going a little bit with James Conner. He's coming up on a thousand yards. Uh, a little bit tough sledding for him this season. Been trying to get uh, his backup a lot of work. 
But I think if, uh, if we can get him, I don't know, I think he probably needs only 30, 40 yards to get to uh, 1,000 at this point. He's been time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders. Gonna use our power running game here. We run out of a tight end. Uh, tight end uh, fullback set. We have a third and three. We will throw the ball and try to convert this. There's Smith Schuster down the middle. We can get him on that sometimes. Uh, if he's not open, we've got the guy coming underneath on that play. And we are going to check to a uh, different play here. There goes Connor again. James Connor's got one year left on his contract. He has been, uh, obviously, uh, with the Steelers in real life, he is gone, moved on. Excellent in this franchise for us over the years. Oh, Tomlin's unhappy. Number one rule in this franchise, keep Coach happy. There's Doug Middleton. They might be giving us that seam this game. Let's see if we can take advantage of that. It's the second time we've gotten that to work for us. Uh, try to run a little sweep with Connor. And that's the end. Oh, that's a two-minute warning. Upon us already. Well, we better get the ball in the end zone here. Time does go kind of quickly uh, with these shorter quarters, especially when you're running the ball. Uh, we're going to go underneath. Oh, he got hung up. Lowry got hung up there. Didn't like that too much. Uh, I guess let's go with our cross wheels for now. Second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. It's the Schuster man to man coverage. They can't run with them. So, ordinarily, Claypool is our uh, number one receiver, but you know, we've got him taking a little bit of a break the past couple games. He'll be out there. He'll catch a couple passes probably, but I'm putting it to uh, Smith Schuster and Lowry uh, to be our two uh, top receivers today. Just because the playoffs are coming up, we're trying to rest these guys up a bit. All right, let's see if we can keep Mahomes out of the end zone. Uh, I guess we'll bring some pressure on him. We'll unleash uh, TJ Watt a little bit here, see what he can do. Alright. I'm clicked onto a defensive lineman. That's a third and short here. Okay. They're taking a timeout to think about a little here. Which is good because I need to think about it too. Third and one. They're coming out with four wide receivers. All right. We're going to... We're going to assume they're throwing, I guess. Watching for a draw. Nope. They're all over Mahomes. Almost intercepted. And that is... Uh, we roughed him. We roughed Mahomes. TJ Watt. 
Well, I thought I was going to unleash him. Aggressive pass rush, you have this sometimes. Oh, and we're lo lost on the slant again. Shepard is in for the score. All right. Penalty costs us. So we've got 52 seconds here. We will take a look at a deep shot or two. And uh, then we will try to work the sideline. We have three timeouts. Uh, we want to score before the end of the half here. This year was scoring in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum. This is a big time to get a score, especially if you're in a close game, which we're uh, not, I mean, sort of in, I guess. Here comes Kavanaugh. And we are going to go... We're going to look at Lowry again here, see if we can get him again on that deep crosser. Looking for that one play touchdown. There he is again. And then try and add to it in the second. 95 speed, they're not going to catch him. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A big play there. 76 yards. We get that man coverage on that. We're looking for the, uh, we're looking for, um, the cornerback following the crosser, the shallow crosser, and then, uh, read the coverage over the top. And that will tell you when you can throw that deep crosser. And uh, uh, if you get a cover one, you get a cover zero. Uh, two over the top, usually that's a touchdown. Basically anything where the safety isn't uh, taking away that deep third on the back side. All right, so now they've got some time. We've had some pretty good uh, quarterback duels with Mahomes over the years. And by years, I mean years of this franchise. And that's a fumble. My goodness. We're going to try to punch this in. The Schuster jammed up on the line, but he beats his guy, and he's in again. We want him and that man-to-man -man coverage coming across underneath. Sometimes we can get the wheel route on that. Sometimes we get the tight end if they double-team the wheel. Sometimes we get nobody, and we get sacked. So this is exactly what we want in this game here. We can get some of our, uh, we'll probably just get a, probably just get a Kavanaugh out in the second half. What are they going to do? They may just be going to be, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe they're, uh, I thought maybe they were just going to run it and, uh, go into the half. Twenty-two seconds. Run him down with Fitzpatrick. Kind of missed him in the backfield there. I was so excited to get back there. Oh boy, there's Kelsey, and we face mask them. I have it set for a strip ball, aggressive, something I'm experimenting with. I don't get those face masks a lot, but you do get them more often. 
scrimmage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves and we've got six go seconds to left game. here, and they're going to kick a field goal. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the left hash, this from 34. Butker's kick here is good. All right, two seconds left. We're just going to... Uh, deficit from 28 to 25. We're just going to take it out and uh, go into half. Pretty happy with how things have gone. Stormy, cloudy day, and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it. 35-10 at the half. So we've come upon halftime here. In Took advantage of some turnovers. And uh, some... Some uh, defensive uh, breakdowns on their part. Alright. So we're going to get a... Uh, get Dakota Kavanaugh out of there. No reason to risk him. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half. And we'll get our backup quarterback, Brad Core, a little work. Yikes. Let's go, Core. So with the Steeler offense on their way out, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And these guys locked into that number one seed. That's been a foregone conclusion for a while now. The question on everyone's mind, can they finish the regular Got Peterson on the crosser. And it all comes back to philosophy of the organization. Gain of five. And of course the locker room is players want to do. And I think what most teams will do in this situation. I think we'll keep throwing the ball here. Let's win every game, but let's be smart about for now. I don't want Core getting in a third and long situation. Uh, obviously he is not as good a quarterback. And that's kind of why. He's obviously not as good a quarterback as Kavanaugh. Um, and I forget that sometimes. And I'm not as careful with him like I should be when he's out there. Let's go. Set your feet and throw the ball. There's Claypool. Yeah, with Kavanaugh, I can kind of run around a little bit. With uh, with Core, he really needs to have his feet set when he's throwing the ball. And there's our... Tight end, Doug Peterson, for a nice gain. Give him another shot from the other side on a similar play. Uh, we'll go to uh, Lowry. Oh, big hit. In the first half. Now he's got a third here. Let's try to run. Let's try to challenge Mr. Core a little bit here. We'll run a little bit of a sprint out on this Steelers cross. This might be a disaster, but what the heck. Hopefully our right tackle can make that block. He picks him up. That was a bump. That was a dumb throw. I went to this uh, underneath guy. I should have went to the deep guy. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come up. Oh, let's go. But they never did. Trio. Tight end in. Oops, I called that backwards. Called that to the wrong side of the field. Here we go. We're looking for Peterson or Lowry. And there is Peterson. Oh, 
is his 80th catch and the result 80 catches for Peterson. He's uh he's been a good one since we got him. Let's go. James Conner down to the four. Let's get a... Get Smith-Schuster out of there, and we'll get a Deontay Johnson in there. We'll throw the slant to Deontay Johnson. Kind of the forgotten guy in our offense sometimes. Deontay Johnson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers offense, they continue to Steeler Nation's excited, putting it on the Chiefs pretty good. Kind of a big uh, AFC rival throughout this franchise. Um, and excited for the playoffs. We will probably see these guys again uh, when the playoffs come around. Maybe. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you got over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. Mahomes is making some good throws. He does have that interception. But uh, otherwise, he's been not bad. Kind of running for his life back there a little bit at times. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game. There's Darren Isaac coming up and making a tackle. They have not looked particularly good all game long. But nice One of our often maligned corners. The last run got maligned by me most of the time. Here's Mahomes to throw. Quick hitter here is complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of That's the first down. Keeps coming out with four wide receivers. Which makes me tempted to call these uh, edge blitzes. Almost intercepted. Barkley, Tyler Barkley. Because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league. And every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound. Bringing this corner blitz here. Mahomes will try again on second down. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Third and four, they're coming out. Uh, I guess we'll go with our uh, regular nickel blitz here. Kelsey brings it down. Kelsey's a... Uh, Still a, one of the best tight ends in the league here. He used to be a 99 overall. He's regressed to a 96, but, you know, that doesn't make me feel much better. It's always Hill and Kelsey are the two receivers to be worried about playing these guys. But uh, Hill hasn't done much of anything. Which he probably will now that I've said something. Force telling jokes on the sidelines. Kansas City first. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to. Uh, wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? Not only have they, they switch, we switch. They put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, but guess what? We see the end result. Right now, 
So this brings up a second and ten. I'm going to keep bringing pressure. And I'm covering a tight end. I don't like that, so we're going to switch to quarters. Mahomes is running, and I missed a hit stick. I don't think of Mahomes as a runner, but I guess he is a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent as a mobile quarterback. Maybe less so uh, now than he was earlier in his career, his rookie year. All right, let's go uh, on. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Oh. Terrible. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. And that will cut this lead down to 25. And Hayward's injured again. And it was all capped by Patrick Mahomes using his legs to get in the end zone. Now after those guys look way too happy for a team with 42 points on the board against them. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. Alright, so we'll get Connor and Cobb going here a little bit. There's Justin Ford, number 57. Oh, and Hayward is maybe a serious injury. So I'm hoping Connor will get over 1,000 yards. Oh, Ford is injured also. Man. This will help. This will help. Yeah, he's got to be over a thousand on the season at this point. We'll get Juan Cobb in there a little bit. Let my guys fire out and hit people. We're wearing them down. Let's finish them off with the running game. On first down, it's Cobb, and he'll get this one down to about the. I don't know why I'm juking with Cobb. He's no more of a, uh, no more of a uh, agile back than Connor is. Especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic, but in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And he'll find his way down inside. Second and what is it? Third and five. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a three four. So we can take this down. We can run the ball and take this down to the two minute warning. Big people, because they're gonna have to eat up a lot of blockers. Because usually five on three, and when they do their job well, guys. We don't get the first. We will. uh will just roam and hit. On third down. Oh, we don't get the first. We will kick a field goal, I think. Or maybe we'll go for it. Fourth and two. Kind of keep the clock under our control. Let's shoot clock. We'll go for it. If we get it, we could uh, kill some more of this clock. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there. There's Connor picking it up. And he is not going anywhere. He's there. He looks to me like he had it. I don't know. All right, whatever. Doesn't matter. They're at their own five. Oh, wow. Talk about trying to add insult to injury. 
some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on oh, the situation, I'm going to do it. And there's a broken and tackle. The as a Almost a uh, safety for TJ Watt there. That's just who they are. It's a gain of nine yards, and that'll make it second and short. TJ Watts had kind of a oh we're not gonna catch Hill. This is kind of the problem we had last game with uh I forget the receiver they had uh we just don't end up anybody that can run with Hill. What was that 90 90 some yards 80 some yards? Dangerous combination as we are learning quickly Mahomes to Hill. And think about the number of ways that they are dangerous. Because well, that was a little bit exciting at the end of the game, anyway. But also on the shorter catches, as we saw here, catch it underneath, catch it in front of someone. He makes a move. And they're going onside kick. Either way, they do have three timeouts. Good luck. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. So we'll make them use up these timeouts. Actually, we, we might throw the ball here. Because uh, that if we can get a first down, that ends the game pretty much. Oh, and Core is walloped. So if we, see if we can uh, depend on Brad Core to uh, convert a uh, second and nine here for us. Or at least get close to it. Oh, that was terrible. I was watching Smith Schuster down the field there and uh, thought about fitting it in there to him. Why aren't they calling timeouts? There may have been absolutely no reason to do that. They're not calling timeouts. All right, well, we will take, uh, we'll take the win then. That's about it. We're going to watch some, uh, watch. We're going to look at some statistics as uh, soon as we're done here. If you want to check it out. And that's the end of the game. We're going to be uh, undefeated once again. And uh, number one seed in the AFC. Uh, took them to these Chiefs pretty good. We might see them again in the playoffs. Uh, 363 yards through the air. 99 yards on the ground. Uh, Mahomes played pretty well, it looks like. 342 yards passing. Kavanaugh, 7 of 8 for 285 and 5 touchdowns. There you go. Core, 7 of 9 for 78 yards and 1 touchdown. Let's see how many yards rushing Mahomes had. 41 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Connor with 92 yards on the ground. Smith Schuster with a big day, Lowry with a big day. A lot of these guys resting, Claypool, Peterson. Fitzpatrick had 13 tackles. Lindsey and Watt with sacks. Edmonds with an interception. And that's about it. Uh, that's the end of the season. We're going to have a, uh, a season sort of wrap-up video next. And then it's on to the playoffs. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Whatever you decide to do. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next game.